Hello, Florida Virtual Academy. My name is Donna J. I'm an, a teacher that is certified in special education, grades K to 12. I'm also a certified teacher for the elementary grades K through 6. My first out of college experience was a special education teacher. I had taught a resource room where students would come and go depending on the level of support they needed as well as the subject matter. Mainly they were learning disabled students who were in grades 1 through 6. Then later I was assigned a position as instructional support teacher. This position was not grade bound it's necessarily. It was not classroom bound necessarily. I was actually asked by teachers to take a closer look at students they felt were struggling in the curriculum and they would provide data, initial data that I would use to determine where the needs were that they felt where I would need to look and concentrate while I went into the classroom. I often did many observations and probes to determine what exactly we could do to intervene and help and support a student. That was a position that I had for some years as well. I'm considered a master teacher at this point. I also do a lot of training and facilitation in my district for best practices as well as the things that are current and cutting edge for teachers to be doing and using in their classroom in an effort to help them to with response to intervention kinds of things as well as many other topics. Additionally, I have been a University of Phoenix faculty member for the past seven years. I teach working adults and the main thrust of my instruction in my courses is on writing skills. Today I have prepared a mini lesson for you that involves predicting skills in use of a book cover. This is targeted more for a younger primary grade, although can be used with older primary students if it can be expanded and used in a different way. So here we go. Sorry, this is uh, awkward here. Good readers use what they know from their experiences and what they see or to tell or predict what will happen in a book. Predicting helps readers think about and understand what they are reading. Predictions can be made before opening a book because the title and the pictures provide clues. Now in looking at this book, I have a book called Suddenly by Colin McNaughton. We can see that there is a scary looking creature in a dark figure. As well we see a small little pig and that dark figure there. Hmm, you would think it looks like someone's shadow or at least that's what it looks like to me. That shadow is coming prior to the person entering the picture who it belongs to. Or actually, maybe it's the animal. What do you think? When we have a sunny day outside, we know we have shadows that we cast on the walls. That helps me think about sunny days when I've looked at my shadow on the streets or on the walls or on the sidewalk, depending on where I am outside. This also reminds me of the pig and a story that I once read that maybe this character is a wolf. I wonder if that is a wolf. And you remember the story of the three little pigs with the wolf? Hmm, I wonder if a wolf has something to do with the pig. This is something I'm not sure about but I'm interested to know. It certainly doesn't look like it will be such a pleasant experience for that little pig because that creature looks like he's ready to grab that pig. What do you think? Take a closer look at this book cover and see what you think. Do you see something more than what I saw? 
Can you think of things that make you think about experiences you have or what you know from other things you may have read? Great, I'm glad you could share those with me. Let's move on then. What you need to do when we read a book is first look at the cover and decide what connections you can make to that book cover. There's a lot of information we can get from a book cover and we don't even need to be able to read all of the words. We can just read the title and the clues the pictures tell us. When we go to choose a book for guided reading or we go to choose a book for when we are in the classroom in the library or if we are out at a bookstore. This is a good strategy to use to find out what you might know about a book by looking at its cover and what things you can tell by your own experiences and what you see. This is a good chance for us to explore books without even having to open them up.